The Descent of Man is a seminal work by Charles Darwin, first published in 1871, in which he extends his theory of evolution to encompass the origin of human beings. This book is a continuation of his groundbreaking work, On the Origin of Species, published in 1859, and represents a significant advancement in our understanding of human evolution. In this literary analysis, we will explore some of the key themes and ideas presented in The Descent of Man. Darwin begins the book by acknowledging that many people, including some of his contemporaries, found it challenging to accept the idea that humans are part of the animal kingdom and share a common ancestry with other species. He highlights the importance of examining the physical and mental characteristics of humans in order to understand their evolutionary history. This sets the stage for his exploration of various aspects of human evolution. One of the central themes in the book is the concept of sexual selection. Darwin argues that, in addition to natural selection, survival of the fittest, sexual selection plays a significant role in shaping the traits and behaviors of organisms, including humans. He distinguishes between two forms of sexual selection, male-male competition and female choice. Through these mechanisms, certain traits are favored, leading to the development of specific characteristics over time. Darwin's discussion of sexual selection is particularly interesting when applied to human beings. He points out that human societies have complex systems of courtship and mate selection, and that these cultural practices have a profound influence on the evolution of human traits. He suggests that the preferences of one sex for certain traits in the other sex can lead to the exaggeration of those traits over generations. This can explain the development of traits that may not be directly related to survival but are attractive to potential mates. Furthermore, Darwin explores the differences between the sexes in various species, including humans. He notes that, in many cases, males and females have different roles and characteristics, driven by the demands of reproduction. In human societies, these differences have been magnified by cultural practices and societal norms. Darwin's observations on the division of labor and social roles between the sexes reflect the attitudes and understanding of his time, which were influenced by Victorian-era gender norms. The Descent of Man also delves into the topic of the moral and intellectual development of humans. Darwin suggests that our moral and intellectual faculties have evolved over time, just like our physical traits. He argues that the fundamental moral qualities, such as sympathy and social instincts, have their roots in the behavior of our distant ancestors. He discusses the development of moral codes and the role of conscience in human society. However, it is important to note that Darwin's views on morality were influenced by the social and philosophical context of his era, and some of his ideas have been subject to criticism and revision in the light of contemporary knowledge. In the latter part of the book, Darwin examines the origins of various human attributes, including language, tool use, and artistic expression. He considers the mental and emotional capacities that distinguish humans from other animals. While he doesn't provide a complete or detailed theory of these characteristics, he suggests that they can be understood as products of evolutionary processes, shaped by natural and sexual selection. The Descent of Man is not without its controversies and limitations. Darwin's discussion of race, for instance, has been criticized for its racial hierarchy in the use of terminology that is considered offensive today. It is essential to read this work within the historical context and be aware of the progress made in the fields of anthropology, genetics, and sociology since its publication. In conclusion, Charles Darwin's The Descent of Man represents a significant contribution to our understanding of human evolution and the broader theory of evolution. It explores the themes of sexual selection, the differences between the sexes, the development of moral and intellectual faculties, 
and the origins of various human attributes. While some of Darwin's ideas have been revisited and revised in light of contemporary knowledge, this work remains a foundational text in the study of human evolution and biology.